So I wanted to go to Walmart, but I'm like, I need to save a little bit of money because I got to get my sticker right there. <laughs> so I was like, let me just go to Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go to a few Dollar Trees and see if I can find anything to sell on Amazon or eBay, but I'm assuming Amazon. So here we are. Dollar Tree. Right there, dented, used very good. Or saw no, yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna grab that, of course. These sell for me like crazy. I sold a bunch of these in the past, but now if I sent it in, I'd make 35 cents if it's sold. So the price could always go up or go down. So is that a risk you are willing to take? It's not a risk I'm willing to take for 35 cents. Storage fees? Nah. I looked at Keepa. This book sells like five times a month on average. There's two other sellers. I sent like two in already in the past. So I'm gonna leave these. This one sells between five to 10 times a month. There's four other sellers. Eh, I'll be number five. I'll, I'll take two of those. Different Dollar Tree, different day. I see this Lewis Howes. I actually watch him on YouTube. He interviews uh, people like Tony Robbins, Joe Dispenza. I don't know if I said that name right, but people that are like self-help gurus. <laughs> Not gurus, but people that are self-help, that help other people. So I'm interested in this guy. I'll make like two or three bucks if I sell it on Amazon. The rank is 52,000 in books, which is amazing. So I'm not gonna leave that behind. It's not a lot of meat on the bone, but it's still, it's easy money right there. This book is really tempting because it's 300,000 rank in books, but I go to Keepa.com. I see it's only sold a few times in the last three months. So the fact that it sold recently has the rank real, real good, but it doesn't have enough sales and there's a lot of sellers on this. So back in the day when I was a rookie, I'd pick this up easy. I might pick it up now, but I'm iffy. So the way I think now, I'm just gonna leave it, leave it for now. But if I run into it again, I'll check on it again and see how it's going. This book has one seller at $13. I'd make like two or three bucks. But if that seller sells out, the next highest price is 18. So I'm gonna take a chance on that. There's two of these books. This one I'll make two to three bucks, but I see it sells like crazy when I check Keepa. There's sales like 30 to 50 sales a month. So I'm taking that for sure, for sure. And another one, I love finding this book. I've been selling these like crazy. The Lime Solution. Got it right there. What else we got? Oh, that's not good. This one sells like crazy, and it's an easy $2.50 to $3 profit. So let's add that. Good rank. Before I used Keepa, I saw the rank on this, and at that time it was a decent rank, but I had no idea about Keepa and how many times the book sold. So I still have these sitting in the warehouse getting storage fees. So it was a bad buy. I'm probably gonna do a removal, get rid of them. I did know about Keepa back then actually. I just wasn't using it. So nowadays if I had Scout IQ, this would be a lot faster. But I'm showing you guys that you can make money at the Dollar Tree, finding Dollar Tree books. Cause that's what I do it from time to time, you know? Let me know in the comments below if you've ever bought books at Dollar Tree to resell on eBay or Amazon. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate y'all. That bolo I gave away in the last video, three pack, $19.99. 
Let's get money, mother truckers, get money. Bam.